otherwise for today. Quick look at the tropics before we move on to, yes, the heat around here. Tropical storm Josephine, uh, right now it does look like Josephine will maintain its tropical storm status through the weekend. And then as we get into early next week, it gets a little push here from a frontal boundary that will be making its way across the south and off the eastern seaboard. Uh, for now, it looks like no major threats here, not to the U.S. And as far as the islands are concerned, potential for some wet weather, maybe even some high surf across the Virgin Islands and maybe across the Hispaniola area. Otherwise, our rain chances actually start going up is going to help break this heat wave starting on Sunday with a 30% chance of some showers, even a few strong storms. Some of these storms could be dealing with some gusty winds as we get into Sunday afternoon into the evening hours and then those chances going up on Monday, but finally starting to see some measurable rain possible here for the Lone Star State. I know it's not a lot, but the good news is the return of some clouds and with that moisture, also a drop in those temperatures. Now, don't get too excited. I know I said front, but this front is a August front, meaning that we may see a little bit of a reprieve from the humidity, a slight drop in the humidity as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, but nothing to get too excited about. Upper 70s, low to mid 80s this afternoon. If you've been a fan of this hot weather, you've got a couple more days of this. Winds out of the south, 10 to 15 knots. A dry sky for today with those feels like temperature peaking between 108 to 112. We saw that yesterday. Triple digit temperatures even nearing a record today. We'll be nearing record heat Saturday and Sunday before that heat is finally broken by some clouds, some wet weather. And then we'll keep those rain chances at least 20 to 30% for the upcoming